When we first heard about this competition, we had no idea what uh, a suka is. We didn't know what a suka was. I didn't know what a suka was. I had no idea what a suka was. A suka, it's supposed to symbolize the temporary dwellings that the Israelites dwelled in when they were leaving Egypt. More than that, a structure is supposed to make you confront the things that you have are not permanent and the ways in which you yourself are not permanent. The sukkah is a strange kind of fabrication and most of them are pretty boring. And the idea of rethinking what a sukkah could be seems something to be really fun to be part of. The sukkah itself commemorates the 40 years of wandering during Exodus and we said, well perfect, this makes a perfect match between contemporary wandering and temporary homelessness and historical biblical ideas. The roofing material was really taken as a given. We decided instead of there being a lot of the sticks, there's just one giant log. As I'm sure you all know, in Leviticus 23, 42, I believe, uh, we are commanded you will dwell in booths for seven days. Not since the collective who came together to write the Bible I have so many people talked about suckers probably as we are about to do today. The public would think we're looking at them formally these objects and we like one and we don't like one. I think it's much more about the ideals, the values, the issues that are being brought forth by the projects. These structures realistically have to be built in a short amount of time. They're, they're then going to be trucked into Union Square and installed within seven hours. It represents the currency of the time, like it or don't like it. It's more of an offense in a way than, uh, than an interesting conversation. I mean, it's a really nice design for something else entirely, no, but not exactly for a sukkah. Right. What made this a great competition was that it wasn't, let's find the answer, but let's start a conversation to open up how a sukkah can be developed. And I think the idea is, why should every sukkah look the same? They should all be different. Somebody said that this is the best sukkah ever built. That's pretty good for 4,000 years of building these things. After years with the canvas and the fiberglass, it's nice to see some new ideas. The sukkah is one of the very few times where the Jewish liturgy and tradition actually has an architectural expression. So it's amazing nobody thought of this before.